Hello! Today we are going to talk about how to find an image on Flickr.com. Here we have a list of the things that we will cover in this video. In the Flickr.com demo, we will look at how to find the website Flickr, how to search for an open image, how to select and open an image. Open means two different things here. This is an open license, how to search for an open image, and this is opening a file. How to look at the license, how to copy the URL for the image, and how to download and save an image. So let's get started. First, how to find Flickr. In your Canvas page, you have a link to Flickr. But if you're somewhere where you don't have that link, you can go to Google and search for Flickr. Flickr is spelled F-L-I-C-K-R. And here would be a link to the page. Or even easier, anytime you're on the internet, you can just go up here in the address bar and type flickr.com. Push the enter button and you'll go to the website. This is what Flickr looks like. From here, you can search by keyword for any kind of image. Right now it's fall and I'm thinking about that nice pretty season. And I bet there are a lot of really, really pretty images of fall. So I type fall into this key keyword search box and then I push enter to search. You can see I have all sorts of images of fall. Now all of these images can, as we mentioned, have a different kind of license. So up here I want to change to an open license. An open license means that whoever created this image has decided that people can use it. And this is also called a Creative Commons license. So we can use this openly and freely without infringing or um, breaking copyright law. So I've changed the license type to Creative Commons only. So now all of the images that we're seeing are open images or CC licensed images. I can scroll, th scroll through the pages and find one that I like. There are lots of images of fall. I like this one. This is the Japanese maple fall. So I click on the image and I see more information about it. This is by Paul Moody and he has a little bit of information here about his photography and where he took the picture and then there are comments about it. Also over here we can see exactly what kind of CC or open license this has. If you click on the link it will open a Creative Commons page and show you. This is a non-commercial license. That means that you can't use it and make money off of it but you can use it for as long as you're not trying to make money anytime you want. So that's how to look at the license. Now we want to look at how to copy the URL for the image. But first I think let's look at how to download and save the image because then we get an easier URL. The URL is up here in the address bar and right now you can see that it is really really long. So let's go down here to this page, download this photo button. And I want to view all sizes. So here again, you can see that the license, there's a link to the license. Um, this is Paul Moody's Flickr name, so paul.photos equals Moody. This is the author that you would want to use if you were citing the image. and here is the image itself. From here I can right click on my mouse and go to save image as. And I probably want to save this in my pictures folder, maybe under fall. Oh. And then I would push save. That saves it in my pictures folder. 
And then also you can see up here that we have a much shorter, shorter URL that we can copy. That will bring someone back to this size page. Or we can copy just to the end of the numbers and leave off the sizes. Copy. And that will take us back to the page. I'm going to paste what I just copied here so you can see. See, that takes us back to Paul Moody's Japanese Maple. Or our sizes are still open. I think that's everything you need to know to complete your assignment. Uh, where I believe you have to copy and paste the URL into the discussion box. So just be sure you use this nice short one and copy and paste away. Good luck. Bye-bye.